welcome to bsc statistics students uh, now in this lesson in this class i explain two important uh, definitions of hypothesis statistical hypothesis one it is null hypothesis another one alternative hypothesis now you see uh, because uh, these two hypotheses are very essential you see here there are two kinds of essential hypothesis in conducting the test procedure so to conduct a test procedure it is very important uh, uh, to study the these two hypotheses null and alternative uh, first of all null hypothesis if you go for null hypothesis uh, null hypothesis it is a uh, statistical hypothesis with no difference said a statistical hypothesis with no difference or with null attitude it is called null hypothesis so it is a very very simple definition and it is denoted by h not capital h not h not okay according to the fisher null hypothesis is the hypothesis which is tested for possible rejection under the assumption that it is true so that is called a null hypothesis according to the fisher uh, it was specified that uh, the hypothesis which is rejected which is tested i'm sorry which is tested for the possible rejection it is tested for possible rejection under the assumption that it is true so that which is the definition given by the fisher so whatever the statement is if it is given uh, it must be uh, with null attitude with which must be with uh, no difference so, so that is called null hypothesis null hypothesis nothing but it's simple uh, definition are the hypothesis with no difference we should not consider any kind of difference for example mu greater than 100 we should not consider for example mu is not equal to 100 we should not consider like that we should consider only with no difference which is mu is equal to 100 similarly for example i give you one more example mu 1 greater than mu 2 we should not consider mu 1 less than mu 2 we should not consider in null hypothesis only we have to consider mu1 is equal to mu2 that's all that is null hypothesis is unique unique consideration right you see some examples the average height of competitors in a game is 160 centimeters that is uh, h naught it is mu is equal to 160 centimeters so this is null hypothesis we should not consider greater than we should not consider less than or we should not consider not equal to so it is unique the average lifetime of an electrical bulbs manufacturing by a company is 1800 hours so this is the straightforward statement mu is equal to h naught mu is equal to 1800 hours so this is what the uh, the possible consideration of uh, hypothesis with no difference hope you understand this is null hypothesis now come to the another hypothesis it is alternative hypothesis uh, a statistical hypothesis uh, which is complementary to the null hypothesis is called an alternative hypothesis which means uh, uh, the null hypothesis uh, is meaningful only when we formulate uh, uh, an alternative hypothesis another hypothesis a rival hypothesis it is called alternative hypothesis null hypothesis uh, meaningful if you consider a uh, one particular if you set up uh, if you consider a rival hypothesis uh, then only it is meaningful you see for example if mu is equal to 160 then uh, what would be the another hypothesis so for example you consider uh, mu greater than 160 centimeters no no it is uh, mm, more than 160 centimeters average is if you consider then it is uh, uh, one uh, strong hypothesis is going to be considered uh, the null hypothesis now it is meaningful if you reject this if you not accept this then which kind of hypothesis is going to be uh, accepted if you reject this what kind of hypothesis is going to be accepted that is so we have to set up a hypothesis a rival hypothesis uh, in advance of uh, um, previous that is before conducting the test procedure in advance before conducting the test procedure we have to formulate two hypothesis named null and alternative Alter null hypothesis is meaningful only if you set up alternative hypothesis so that is the reason why it is called a complementary 
is an aldehyde process. Correct, it is denoted by H1. You see, I further continue and uh, I'll explain, explain in this particular. Yeah, you see here, uh, it was specified very clearly here. It is clear that null hypothesis is meaningful when we formulate an alternative hypothesis. So, that is what uh, uh, importance of alternative hypothesis. If you come to the examples, uh, if the null hypothesis uh, is the average height of the competitors in the game is 160 centimeters, then the alternative hypothesis may be formulated as h1 mu is not equal to 160 centimeters one kind of alternative mu less than 160 centimeters another kind of alternative hypothesis mu is greater than 160 centimeters another kind of alternative hypothesis the three kinds of alternative hypothesis you can formulate uh, the alternative hypothesis uh, in one uh, is it refers to the two tile test and two and three it refers one tile test okay and similarly if the null hypothesis uh, uh, average lifetime of electrical bulbs uh, in a company it is 1800 hours uh, then alternative hypothesis may be considered as uh, the alternative hypothesis may be considered as uh, uh, h1 mu is not equal to 1800 that is two tail test uh, h1 mu greater than 1800 h1 mu is less than 1800 uh, these are the three kinds of alternative hypothesis we can consider against the null hypothesis h uh, h0 uh, mu is equal to 1800 so therefore uh, if you we are setting uh, uh, two kinds of uh, hypothesis called uh, null and alternative hypothesis uh, and null hypothesis is meaningful only when we set up an alternative hypothesis that is the reason why uh, we are uh, setting up uh, another kind of hypothesis called uh, alternative hypothesis right so that is the reason why and uh, and one more thing uh, in alternative hypothesis decides whether the uh, test is one tile or two tile whether the test is, uh, test is uh, uh, one tile or two tile which has more significance uh, in calculation of the tabulated value that is called that is uh, called a significant value tabulated value means a significant value okay which is taken from the tables already constructed tables right uh, which means uh, here uh, uh, if the alternative hypothesis is not equal to then it is two tail test uh, if the alternative hypothesis is greater than and less than greater than or less than then it is one tail test uh, if it is greater than it is called right tail test if it is less than it is called one tail test i hope you understand we have discussed uh, with the help of the alternative hypothesis uh, also we have discussed the one tile and two tile okay so these are the definitions of uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis thank you thank you so much